museum asked, what happens when everyone goes home and the dinosaurs and relics are left alone? Well, that was just a movie, but many museums across the US now have amazing programs where you can make it real. Sleeping in rooms with history, T-Rexes, and spy equipment. Ariel Wessler grabbed his sleeping bag and checked out some incredible sleepovers on The Incredulous. Spending a night at the museum can be cool and a little creepy. Just ask Ben Stiller. Ah! It's freaking awesome. Now you can find out for yourself. Here's my list of some of the best museum sleepovers. First, the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. Well, I can't tell you all the details because, um, of course, I'll have to kill you. But she did give up a little info. The program is open to kids ages 9 to 13 and their parents. Participants set out in search of a mole through a series of missions designed by real spies. We can do things during this overnight that we could never do during uh, regular daylight public programs, which makes it really exciting. We can use stairwells and all kinds of fun, dark, shadowy corners. And after a long night of espionage, they can sleep under the Bulgarian umbrella gun or the lipstick pistol, um, the Aston Martin DB5. Next, venture into limestone caves inside the Cincinnati Museum Center, explore hands-on exhibits, and spend the night at the Cincinnati History Museum. This isn't a cave, it's a stomach. And here at the Arizona Science Center, this will be your tent if you spend the night. No nasty mosquitoes, just curl up in your sleeping bag fall asleep. We get to do planetarium shows, eat dinner, breakfast, snack, and enjoy the Science Center without people around. Bush Gardens in Tampa offers summer night sleepovers where you can spend the night inside Tiger World, an indoor area with top to bottom views of tigers in their natural habitat. You might want to sleep with one eye open. Be sure to book early. Some of these programs sell out months in advance. You won't be disappointed. I'm Ariel Westler.